Hi guys, how we doing? So I really planned on getting out here yesterday and getting this done, but well, my body decided it did not want to cooperate with that particular plan. So I was in bed early. Um, that happens sometimes, especially to me, actually. Um, but we're out here now. It's absolutely gorgeous today. So it's a little later in the day than I would normally do, but that's okay too. Um, I am going to be working on this guy today. I've, as you can see, I got him primered up the rest of the way, and now I'm just looking for a good, nice base color to do. Let's see, I'm not sure if you could see me mixing back there, but here's what we're going to do for now, which is just going to be the base color and then we'll come over with white uh black and probably a darker brown as well but everybody needs a base coat and this is about as close to a proper color as i think i'm gonna get to him so as i was primering I realized he does still have quite a bit of chewed up look on his nose which my guess is is that's exactly what happened to him because the previous owner did also have a dog um but and there's quite a few dogs that run the neighborhood uh not as many of late as Slowly, but surely, everybody's finding ways to contain their pups, because nobody wants to take a chance of their dog getting hit or things like that. And we do live right by a fairly busy highway. Um, but I figure what we'll do, we'll give him just a little bit of a gray muzzle, and we'll make the chew marks into basically scars so that he can tell his story in a little bit of a different way just make him look like an old grizzled type of pup instead of trying to fix it a hundred percent perfect because i don't plastic is just not that forgiving and i don't think that i can get it to return to its proper form and then recreate the whisker marks and fur lines that they've got in here. Because he is a molded plastic as opposed to a, uh, what's the word? As opposed to the concrete or stone that I'm fairly used to working with. Even a resin would be a little bit more forgiving, but plastic likes to just pill up. And I've, I tried sanding a little bit and it just did not work. Now, as you guys have probably already heard, the birds have decided today is the day we all need to hear all of the songs of their people. Um, so that's just part of life with birds. Hopefully they're not going to bother you guys too too much but judging by what videos of mine do really really well compared to the ones that don't you guys would probably rather i'm filming the birds anyway but you get a little of both with me you get the restorations and you get the pets and i've posted a lot more of the pets than the restorations of late so kind of time I get out here and get at least one of video done of this sort. So if you notice I'm steering clear of the front a little bit, that is because he's still drying a little bit from touching up his primer. But we should be able to at least get a pretty good solid base coat down. And if we have to kind of overlay the primer a little bit, that'll just give him a little bit of variation in his coat. 
which is not a terrible thing. This guy is going to be somewhere out front. I haven't decided if he's going in between the planter boxes in front of the uh, porch or if he's going to go in the garden we're planning on putting on the in front of the house itself. We'll see where he ends up. By the time I'm done with all of my statues and stuff that I have, I should have a nice, well-decorated front yard. Well, that's problematic. I thought I mixed enough. I don't know how far into this I'll go today, but we will at least get him base coated. We might kind of come through with a little bit of black or tan and see about adding some details here and there if he's drying quickly enough. You never really know how they're going to hit from one material to the next. Let me see if he needs scooched over just a hair, and he does. There we go. That's a little better, isn't it? Now you guys can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. So I did mix this a little darker. I'm kind of okay with that, though. This is a little closer to what I had in mind. This is definitely not his final color. So I'm not too worried about it being absolutely perfect. And because his paw, we got it filled, but it's not perfect. I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do there is go through, go to the store and get a cheap toy that looks like a bone. And we'll paint it up so that he's got a bone that he's holding between his paws. So that we don't have to worry about that really, really funky little foot as much. And I was finally able to get that other eye out. Which, I've done it on projects before. My plan for that is to actually use the hole where those eyes were as the pupil and we're going to paint up his actual eye and then they make these flat glass beads that a little bead of hot glue inside will hold them really really nicely um giving that look of a proper eye again without trying to figure out how to get those oh here these to go in again. Let me just make sure that's it's hard to get so you can actually see it but yeah these things are a pain to work with so I'd really just rather not not to mention I'd have to find them that fit his eyes again and I honestly don't know the sizing on stuff like that. So like you can kind of see, it does look like somebody chewed his nose off. Which you guys will be seeing hopefully in the next couple of times 
a very quick and easy, well, hopefully easily done, easy uh, nose repair for a friend of mine who saw me posting about this guy and said she has one as well and has lost, has had a very similar problem where his nose got chewed off. So we'll try and repair that for her and just put the nose back on. And we may have to stop. I don't feel like his underside is fully dried. Oops. Yeah, no, we're going to have to wait for his front and paw there. But that's okay. Let's make sure we got all these little oddball spots filled. I feel like he keeps scooting over. I am 100% ready for spring and summer to get here. I think it's going to be a good summer. I really hope so. The spring has been, or the winter was rough. And the beginning of this year was very, very rough on us. So I'm really hoping we have a nice spring and a nice summer to kind of balance things out at least a little bit. Because I feel like life can only push you so far before you have to kind of start to push back and say, no, I'm going to make this the best I can. There we go. Mostly right now I'm going in and filling in little spots and just using up the last of this paint. And as you can see, it is actually drying pretty quickly. Thankfully, with that nice fur texture, I don't have to stress too much about brush strokes showing. Because that's just going to add to his fur. So he's no longer a white dog. He's now a tan dog. So I'm going to see if we can't brush off some of this excess here. a little bit there that didn't fill in. There we go. So this is something I used in the first batch of paint. I'm just going to go over a couple of spots with that and just kind of add in a little bit of shading while he's still wet just to kind of outline some of the areas where I want to add spots of different color. So we don't want him to be too far off. And if it blends to the, to the lighter color, it kind of works. I'm also kind of trying to cover up some extra chew spots. And these are very likely going to end up with some layered coloring on them, his ears. I mean, and the same thing will do his tail. paint ran away from me again here. Go ahead and come up on this ear. Same basic way. I have this uh, lady that comes in where I work. She has the cutest little basset hound pup. He's the only one I've ever seen. He's a basset hound, pure-blooded. But his coloring is like a bloodhound. 
prettiest little dog. Not something you see every day. I think we're just going to do with this whole ear and that color. No, no, I kind of like that. I think we're going to do this ear and that color fully as well. See, this is where it's kind of fun because you can actually just start to make them look kind of however you want. And if you hear that chirping, that is Little Miss so, uh, Zelda. She is very opinionated and she gets very offended when nobody's paying her any attention. Um, so, it's fun. We're, we have a lot of patience because we know she is just a baby. There's no telling you know, what her personality is going to fully come out to be. But because I do want to kind of do this in the grays, we're going to start this way. We're also going to come up, I think we're going to give him that nice peak of white. But for now, we're just going to start, well, that was a whole big wet spot, wasn't it? That didn't go as planned. Did you decide you did not want that to be colored that way? Yeah. And don't judge me too harshly as I talk to the projects I paint. I do that actually quite a lot. So I guess we're going to do one side of his muzzle with the sienna and the other side we're going to let dry and we'll come in and do the sienna part later <laughs> he's starting to get some character to him isn't he so i am going to go ahead and stop there because Otherwise, we're just going to be pushing the paint around, and that's not doing a lot of good. Um, we don't want to do that. But, I will come in tomorrow. We'll either work on this guy or this guy, unless we're actually feeling highly energetic and decide to get the uh, bird bath out of storage. We may do a combination of any of those things, but for now, here's where he's gotten to at this point. It's not complete, but it's a good start, and we'll do no more another day. But for the moment, I will talk to you guys next time.